Hello to everyone. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome into the stream if you are new guys and you have just joined. I hope all of you are having an amazing day, amazing afternoon, wherever you all are. Hope you're all doing well. We are here for a game what is out on demo as a trial. Um, it's out now. You can get it to try. Um, and uh, thought we'd try out the game. It's a new game what has dropped. Let's give it a few minutes. It is loading. Into the game, I believe. There we go. Right, so we're on a new game, guys. Um, so bear with me. With a few things, it is new. Um, it is out for demo. It is out in 2023 this year. It's a, on a release early access trial, so I'm giving it a go. It's on demo. You can get it on Steam now. Um, and I thought I'd give it a go as it's been uh, just released today, I believe. Released today or yesterday. But welcome in, everyone. I hope everyone enjoys. And uh, smash that lovely like as well. It does help out the channel. All right, let's get into it. It is going to have multiplayer in the future as well. Um, so we're just going to sort the volumes out so it's not too loud for you guys. Um, new game, and then we've got all these tutorials here. So, let's uh, try it. I believe we are just loading in. Oh, so you got this truck here, guys. This is the truck. What you got? The little uh, truck here. Play now. Right, let's give it a go. Oh, bit laggy. Be aware it is laggy because it's just a beta. So, bear with me. Ah, oh, so you can hear all the sounds. Ah, oh, so you can take the sounds. Ow, okay. Not sure what you do, but... Where have I got to go? Let's go over here. I'm new to all this, so I'm not sure where I need to go. Do I need to get in that? Or do I need to go down a bit more? Let's get the trailer and hook up. Let's 
big place, isn't it? Oh, I guess I gotta get in this. I gotta get in this. Hopefully, I got this right. Oh, it would help if I started it. Aha, there we go. Right, we got it, we got it. I don't know what I'm doing. Aha, there we go. Right, we're getting cones. Oh, that looks... Oh, God. Not like that. Not meant to throw the cones. Beast. Oh, you meant to... Oh, I don't like this. Right. Ah, there we go. Oh. Like that, okay, I get it. I was rushing in, wasn't I? I get it now. I actually like this game. That's pretty, pretty chilled. Pretty chilled vibe. Another little game in the list to uh, play. Hi, all of you lovely people are doing well. If you are new to this channel, guys, don't forget to hit that lovely subscribe, hit that share, share it out. Be much appreciated. Right. So now, do I have to get the pipes? I guess we've got to do it behind here now, isn't it? Pipes. I didn't see this. There we go. Oh, 
Right. Got one more. Is that everything? Yeah, everything. What's the third thing then? Looking now. Where is the next one? I'll take this back. So I think that's what I've got to do is drive this back now. But check and see what it is, guys. See what else we need to do. God. I think it's something over here to do next. Let's have a look now. Not sure what next it is. Check that off. As at the back. But it's something I gotta do over here. But yeah. Is it another plane I've got to do? Might have let now if it's another plane I've got to deal with. all the parts are on here. So, unless the parts I've got to do over here... ...connects to something. 
Nope. Nope, nope. Oh god. The site over here is a doom. But I'm not sure what. Unless it's something over here to do in this vehicle. It's time to like drive in. To get up somewhere. So there ain't that. Trying to work this out, guys. I am absolutely trying to work this out. I'm baffled. Anything I can think of is fuel. Could be fuel, innit? it? Anything I can think of. It's chill. It's under the nap. And hooking it up to the fuel one. Hooking it up to this one. It's only the way I can think. Might be wrong. Aha! God. 
I don't know who trusts me with cables on a plane. I do not know who trusts me with cables on a plane. I don't even know where it goes. I go here. Probably goes down the front. It's getting closer, it's pulling. I don't know if we're going to get very far on this game. We're trying to look for a cable. Well, I can't find it. I think it's on this plane anyway. I can't even do this mission. Can't even think where it'd be, guys. It's telling me oh, it's probably better to make it day. What I'll do is I'll restart it. Yeah, I think we need trial help. I think we need trial help for this. Welcome to the airport sim demo. You are now surrounded by the beautiful hills and cliffs of the Faroe Islands. All while standing at the only airport there we in go. the region, Vagar. That in will this help. scenario, 
I'd like to demonstrate a series of mechanics that we've recreated that are part of an aircraft's turnaround phase. These include securing an aircraft after arrival with chocks and cones, providing power to an aircraft through a mobile ground power unit, connecting the passenger stairs, and unloading luggage from the cargo hold. As you can see, the aircraft has just arrived at the gate, so allow me to talk you through the basics of movement and interactions. You can use the on-screen controls to look and walk. Now, walk up to the wheel chocks and pick them Crashy up by Harry. pointing your view in their direction, Set. and then pressing the Watch button displayed crash on the screen. LOL face with tears of joy. To secure the aircraft from rolling away in the event of hydraulic brake failure, approach each set of wheels and place a set of chocks... I won't crash the plane, Harry. I'm not flying the plane, I'm basically, um... Now, walk up to the cones, pick them up and place them each around the aircraft in the indicated placement areas. You can pick a cone up just like you did the chocks. To manipulate the cone's position and rotation, use the controls displayed on screen. Oh. Yeah, I don't fly the plane, Harry, I don't think. Oh, that was a bit naughty of me. Well, that's no good. Lucky Massey's not in the chat. Clip that. He would probably clip that. He would probably clip that, Ari. Nine lovely people watching to see this lovely demo. Let me know what you think of it in the chat. Be much appreciated. Lucky Massey's not watching. At the moment. It could always will be. Yeah, I'm basic it's a basically a demo, Harry. Um, it is coming to multiplayer as well. It's going to be multiplayer this game. What's well, going to be awesome? A little multiplayer game. So another multiplayer game is coming. Um, like I said, there will be new games coming to the channel soon. And I will keep Great. bringing the new demos. Now the aircraft is secured and ready to be connected to the ground power unit. Also known as the GPU. Oh, God. After landing, an aircraft continues to generate power from its engines. That is, until they are turned off, and power is switched to another engine, located at the very rear of the aircraft known as the Auxiliary Power Unit, or APU. Mind In talking. this instance, the APU has already yeah. been powered on, shortly after landing before the pilots arrive at the gate. Your next task is to prepare the GPU for operation so the pilots can power down the APU to stop burning fuel. From both perspectives, this switch will be seamless. The crew can fully operate the onboard computers, lights, and even the coffee machines just from GPU power. The aircraft parked at the gate has just arrived and is still on APU power. This grants us the chance to show off the complete process of connecting the GPU. Head over to the tug parked in the garage, attach the GPU to it, and tow it over to the indicated area. Alright, I will. Alright, let's give it a go. Let's see how we get on. Before you leave the garage and drive off to the aircraft, you'll need to connect the GPU to the tug. Position the rear of your tug with the front of the GPU 
and reverse backwards until the rear of the tug is almost touching the tow hook of the GPU. The driving controls are displayed on screen. How is it not? So how do I get out? Oh, wrong. Oh, the wrong thing I've been... Exit the tug and walk over to the tow hook of the GPU and follow the action displayed on screen. Perfect. Remember that attaching other trailers to the tug follows the exact same process. Now, follow the road in front of you to the right and then approach the indicated area near the aircraft. Wrong way. Oh. Once you're in position, exit the tug and detach the GPU from it. Then, head to the rear side of the GPU and open the highlighted panel flap at the top, revealing the control panel. Now, I'll teach you how to fire this unit up in sequence. Oh to god, how to fire items, up. Use the controls displayed on screen. Select the highlighted power on button. This starts the generator battery. Now, hold down the highlighted engine start button for four seconds until the engine starts up. We'll wait about 60 seconds until the engine warms up and the oil temperature reaches 80 degrees Celsius. So you don't get bored, head to the front side of the aircraft and open up the indicated connector flap. Oh, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for this timer to go out. Great. The GPU should now be warmed up and ready for operation. Plug in the power cord by facing the connector area inside the flap you've just opened on the aircraft. Oh. Uh, okay. Now, head back to the GPU's control panel and switch the highlighted motor setting dial from idle to run. Then, push the DC output button to the on position. Great! The aircraft is now connected to the GPU. There's nothing else you need to worry about here, as the pilot will change the power source at their discretion. Soon enough, you'll be able to hear the aircraft's APU powering down. You're now ready to continue with other services. We'll move on to connecting the passenger stairs. There are a few ways to board an aircraft, and after all, you can't just climb up since the doors on this aircraft are about two and a half meters up off the ground. I'll show you how to operate the mobile passenger stairs. As you can guess, it's a vehicle equipped with a retractable stair platform that can adjust to various aircraft with different door heights. This form of boarding an aircraft is generally used on remote stands when a jet bridge isn't present. The stairs vehicle is located in the garage. Approach and enter it. Okay, start the engine and drive over to the aircraft we just connected the GPU with. There'll be a highlighted area on the left side of the aircraft Stop in this area facing the entry door. Let me give you some tips. Remember that the left side of the plane is always intended for passenger or staff entry and exit. So regardless of the type of aircraft, you will always be attaching stairs to the left. 
And to add, you always refer to the left or right of the aircraft from the pilot's perspective to prevent confusion. So what have I got to do? Drive down to here, 10, 9, 8. Now, try to align the platform to the aircraft's door in such a way that doors are positioned slightly to the right from the middle. Come in slowly and try to raise the platform slightly so it matches the silver plate located just below the door. When you're lined up and around four meters away from the aircraft door, stop and change okay. the camera to the interior I will. view. You'll see two bulbs on the left of the dashboard to make identifying a successful alignment easier. One red and one green. If the green light illuminates, that means you've successfully aligned the stairs and are ready to connect them to the aircraft. Now, move slowly and stop when the green bulb lights up. Then when stationary, you will need to lower the supports, which will stabilize the stairs platform whilst passengers disembark the aircraft. I need to turn around. Need to get this right. Here we go. Gotta get this wrong, in it? Solder. Messing up. Oh, there. You got it right. We're still not done. Still, there are a couple of things we need to do. Exit Beautiful. the cab and make your way to the top of the stairs. Now, you must open the aircraft door. Oh, this is awesome. The barriers to secure passage. Oh, so you slow. Oh, okay. So you can open it and close it. All right. This is awesome. Now what? Now what do I have to do? Right, done that. Oh, okay, so leave the door open. Right, there we go. I guess that's it. Now what? Turn that off now.
I guess it goes off now. Now what do I get? Do I pick this up? It doesn't say, does it? Leave it there. Right, I left the door. Told me to do something, I don't want. It said go on to the plane or something, I believe. I can't remember. I went on to the plane. What did it tell me to do? Does anyone know? I think I broke the game, guys. I think I broke the game. Welcome to the beautiful Vagar Airport, situated on the Faroe Islands. In this tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to know about the tablet. The tablet is an important part of the gameplay, as it's your primary source of information. It features... In the first tab from the left, named Operations, will discover and find all data about incoming in the map tab as the name suggests and in the final tab named web we shall discuss each of these tabs in detail the screen is divided into two columns the left hand side acts as a timetable for all flights. each flight is displayed in an ordered grid the right hand side displays a list of to view this information select the first flight in the arrivals list Tasks are arranged in the order in which they should be completed. When you complete an action, it will be crossed off and those which are yet... Now, we'll head to the map tab. Whilst at Vagar, you won't need the map too much. 
However, at larger airports, such as Keflavik or Warsaw, it will be a major player in getting to where you need to be. The GPS view is always centered on you. And finally, at the top, you'll notice that UTC time is calculated relative. Below the clocks, you'll find a slider. And under the slider, you'll find the apply button. At the very bottom, there are weather. Using the sliders, you'll be able to change and adjust in. On the left, there are adjustments of weather condition. If you want to get going with the next tutorial, Oh, okay, so you can do li Oh, live time. So our time in the UK, we can do live time, guys. So this is how dark it is in real time right now in the UK. That is sick. That is sick, isn't it? That is sick. I'm meant to be trying to do a tutorial. Welcome but... to the airport sim demo. You are now surrounded by the beautiful hills and cliffs of the Faroe Islands. I thought I would have All done it by now. Standing at the only airport but in I the still region, haven't done it. Vagar. In this scenario, I'd like to demonstrate a series of mechanics that we've recreated that are part of an aircraft's turnaround phase. These include securing an aircraft after arrival with chocks and cones. Providing power to an aircraft through a mobile ground power unit, yeah. connecting the passenger stairs, yeah. and unloading luggage from the cargo hold. As you can see, the aircraft has just arrived at the gate, so allow me to talk you through the basics of movement and interactions. Oh, loading luggage. You can okay. use the on-screen controls to look and walk. Now, walk up to the wheelchair. To secure the aircraft from rolling away in the event of hydraulic brake failure, approach a set of part. wheels and place a set of chocks underneath. We've already shown this part. Now, walk up to the cones, pick them up and place them each around the aircraft in the indicated placement areas. You can pick a cone up just like you did the chocks. To manipulate the cone's position and rotation, use the controls displayed on screen. We'll do the cones really quick now, because we're getting there. We're not far off it now, and we know what we're doing. The last part was get lug luggage off the plane, I think. So. We'll just do this now. And then we'll uh, get to the part what we need to do. And we need to put one more cone out. Last trial, hopefully we get this right this time. Great. Now the aircraft is secured and ready to be connected to the ground power unit, also known as the GPU. Yeah. After landing, an aircraft continues to generate power from its engines, that is, until they are turned off, and power is switched to another engine, located at the very rear of the aircraft known as the Auxiliary Power Unit, or APU. In this instance, the APU has already been powered on, shortly after landing, from head over to the, the driving... Exit the tug. Walk over to the tow hook of the GPU and follow the action displayed on screen. Perfect. Remember that attaching other trailers to the tug follows the exact same process. Now, follow the road in front of you to the right and then approach the indicated area near the aircraft. Once you're in position, exit the tug and detach the GPU from it. Then, head to the rear side of the GPU 
and open the highlighted panel flap at the top, revealing the control panel. Now, I'll teach you how to fire this unit up in sequence. I know to how to fire the it up. Buttons, use the controls displayed on screen. Select the... Yep, I know how to fire it up. Now, hold down the highlighted engine start button. We'll wait about 60 seconds until the end. And then plug it in. And then next part is the stairs. And then we'll just get the stairs done. Smash that Great. like, guys, the if you haven't already. Smash that lovely like. Ready for operation. Plug in the... Right. Now, head back to the GPU's control panel and switch the highlighted motor setting dial from idle to run. Then, push the DC output button to the on position. Great. The aircraft is now connected to the GPU. There's nothing else you need to worry about here, as the pilot will change the power source at their discretion. Soon enough, you'll be able to... You're now... There are a this form of boarding an aircraft is stairs vehicle. Okay, start the engine and drive over to the aircraft we just connected the GPU with. There'll be a highlighted area on the left side of the aircraft. Stop in this area facing the entry door. Let me give you some tips. Remember that the left side of the plane is always intended for passenger or staff entry and exit. So regardless of the type of aircraft, you will always be attaching stairs to the left. And to add, you always refer to the left or right of the aircraft from the pilot's perspective to prevent confusion. Now, try to align the platform to the aircraft's door in such a way that doors are positioned slightly okay, to the right from the middle. Come in slowly and try to raise the platform slightly so it matches the silver plate when you're lined up. Now. Bit more. We're still not done. Still, there are a couple of things we need to do. Exit the cab and make your way to the top of the stairs. Now, you must open the aircraft door and pull in the side barriers to secure passage. Ah, okay. Open door. And go down and slide. There we go. Oh, is that all of them? Is that all of them? And now go back up the stairs. But that's all the side panels done, isn't it? 
That's all the side panels done, isn't it? Getting somewhere now. Now we're getting there. All right, so we're getting there now. I'm going to take that out. Alright, so I've unloaded the luggage. That's what it's told me to do. I'm trying to work it out. I understand why there ain't stuff from There's no machine working here. trying to work this out. This ain't an easy game. Oh, 
Right, guys, anyway, if you enjoy this type of game, let me know in the comments. I can't find the full thing. It is in beta and early access, so be aware there might be a few bugs or something like that. But thank you for everyone watching. Thank you for all the support on a bit of uh, plain sim. Um, but it's not really plain sim, it's another simulated game. But thank you for everyone hopping in. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the likes, shares, all that good stuff. I'll see you all soon. Drive safe, keep safe, have an amazing day. Thank you for the subscribe, shares, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon. And uh, this game is coming out for multiplayer, so stay tuned. And it's uh, got live weather and that. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. But, yeah, I'll see you all later, guys. You take it easy. Peace out. Have a lovely day. And I'll see you all soon. Peace out, guys. Bye for now. It was only a small little stream today. Uh, bye, Massey. Bye, everyone else. Bye, everyone else who is lurking. Cheers for all the support. And I'll see you soon.